Tranquil Town and Mysterious House. In the heart of a small, seemingly tranquil town, nestled between dense, whispering forests and a restless sea, lay a peculiar house. The house, a stark, angular structure, stood at the end of a crooked lane, its windows like dark, unblinking eyes that watched over the town. Its presence was a silent question mark in the minds of the townsfolk, a mystery that had woven itself into the fabric of their everyday lives. Elmira, a young local historian with an insatiable curiosity for the obscure, had always been drawn to the house. Her fascination was a blend of academic interest and a deeper, inexplicable pull towards the unknown. The house, with its somber appearance and enigmatic past, called to her like a siren song, whispering secrets that only she felt destined to uncover. One crisp autumn evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and purple, Elmira decided to venture into the house. She had heard the stories, tales whispered in hushed tones about the previous occupants, a family shrouded in tragedy and unexplained disappearances. But to Elmira, these were not warnings. They were invitations to uncover truths long buried. As she stepped through the creaking front door, a chill ran down her spine. The air inside was stale and heavy, as if it were holding its breath. The house was surprisingly intact, its furnishings covered in layers of dust frozen in time. Elmira's footsteps echoed through the halls as she explored, her flashlight casting eerie shadows on the walls. In the library, Elmira found a peculiar book. Its cover was adorned with strange symbols that seemed to dance and shift under her gaze. The pages were filled with writings in an unknown language, their ink still vivid against the yellowing paper. As she turned the pages, a sense of unease grew within her. The symbols began to appear familiar, echoing shapes she had seen in her dreams. That night, after returning from the house, Elmira found herself unable to sleep. The book lay on her bedside table, its presence both menacing and mesmerizing. In her dreams, the symbols from the book swirled around her, whispering in a language she felt she almost understood. She saw visions of the house, its rooms shifting and changing, revealing hidden chambers filled with arcane artifacts. The following days saw Elmira consumed by the book. She spent hours trying to decipher its contents, her obsession growing with each passing moment. The town around her seemed to change, the once friendly faces of her neighbors now appearing distant and wary. Elmira felt a growing sense of isolation, as if the book had created a barrier between her and the rest of the world. As she delved deeper into the book, strange occurrences began to happen. Objects in her house moved on their own, shadows seemed to linger longer than they should, and whispers filled her ears in the dead of night. Elmira realized that the book was not just a collection of writings. It was a gateway, a conduit to something ancient and otherworldly. Determined to uncover the truth, Elmira returned to the house, the book in hand. As she stepped inside, the atmosphere shifted. The house seemed to breathe around her, its walls pulsing with a life of their own. She made her way to the library, where she found the book's pedestal. Placing the book back on it, she felt a surge of energy a connection forming between her, the book, and the house. In that moment, Elmira understood. The house, the book, the symbols, they were all part of a larger, more complex puzzle. They were pieces of a history that transcended time, a story of a family that had dabbled in powers beyond their understanding, powers that had consumed them. The house was a keeper of secrets, and Elmira was its chosen confidant. As the secrets of the house unraveled before her, Elmira realized her role in this story. She was not just a passive observer. She was a part of the house's legacy. With this newfound knowledge, she embraced her destiny, becoming the guardian of the house and its mysteries. The townsfolk noticed the change in Elmira. She became a figure of intrigue and respect, a bridge between the known and the unknown. The house, once a source of fear, became a symbol of mystery and allure with Elmira as its enigmatic keeper. In the heart of the town, the house stood, its windows no longer just dark eyes, but gateways to untold stories. And Elmira, the young historian, had become the narrator of these tales, a weaver of dreams and keeper of secrets.
The house and she had become one an eternal testament to the allure of the unknown and the seductive power of mystery.